Hey, everybody, and welcome uh, to our 22nd Big Dave Show virtual field trip. Uh, it's our 22nd one, and the third time we're heading back to our one of our favorite spots, the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. I tell you, uh, there's always so much to see there. It's a popular destination for uh, field trips when you're able to actually do them. And uh, well, that's why we're doing these virtual field trips right now. And we're gonna be checking out some of the zoo babies, but not the little teeny tiny zoo babies. No, 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 Statman, uh, these are some big zoo babies. Who are we gonna be seeing? Well, not that zoo baby either. Oh yeah, they're, they'll be much bigger than this, but they're manatee zoo babies we're gonna see. Yeah, big they're, already, baby. they're already pretty big and uh, Chelsea, I don't know, is the, are the manatee babies bigger than your Great Dane Ace? Um, yes, probably close. They play more than he does, that's for sure. I think so. And uh, actually, one of the things that we saw in this that you really liked was the uh, little baby black rhino. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you guys to see this thing. He's so cute. A Johnny Joe. He's yes. adorable. So Winton uh, is one of the curators there for the manatees of the Cincinnati Zoo. He's going to be joining us. We'll say hey to him real fast. Say hey to all the kids, Winton. Hi, kids. There he goes. He's going to be and taking Ashley, us on a trip. Chelsea gonna, and Stats. We're going to go behind the scenes and uh, check them out. So I tell you what. Uh, let's get a good start here, and uh, Winton will be able to answer any questions you guys may have during the field trip here, and uh, just type them up in the chat section, and if they're about manatees, all the better. So i tell you what, let's get uh, started here, uh, and I'm going to, this time this week, I promise it's going to share a lot easier. <laughs> no software update this week. Here we go. Let's go to the Cincinnati Zoo. Hey, and welcome to the uh, Big Dave Show virtual field trip number 22. How about that, guys? Huh? Where are we? Look. Oh, you know where we are, the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens. And guess what? We just found out we're going to see, and you're going to see what, guys? Manatees. manatees! The brand new manatees here at the Cincinnati Zoo. They're babies. Babies? Babies. Yes. Aww. Babies. This is Wenton. He's the curator, one of the curators for the manatees. So he's going to take us and show us the manatees. Let's go do this. Come on. I'm dying to see him. Hey. All right. So, Wenton, we're ready to head in here and check out the manatees. Can you tell us the names of these guys? So, we have three Florida manatees currently at the Cincinnati Zoo. Alby, Manhattan, and Swim Shady. Swim Shady, and they're and they're basically zoo babies. They basically are. They just got to the Cincinnati Zoo last week. Uh -huh. They just made their public debut over the weekend. How old are they? So two of these animals were rescued in 2019, uh -huh. meaning they might be close to two years old, a year and a half to two years old. The Swim Shady was actually rescued in December of 2020, so he's probably coming up on about a year old snap a pic of these yeah. guys i like these i always like to come see these guys because these are actual proof to me that dinosaurs existed 100 percent. look at these guys yeah these are american alligator snapping turtles and these guys are young i mean they have a lot of growing to do once the male is full grown and i can never tell them apart the male could weigh over 150 pounds Contact. uh oh look look this guy's moving he's coming towards you come on over here buddy You've got a bunch of kids watching you right now. Do something awesome. <laughs> he did, he bit out me. Do something awesome. My gosh, he looks like Godzilla in the face. Okay, so Winton, I'm looking at this outline of duct tape here on the ground and it's almost like there was a crime committed here and the police came and did a... What, what are these right here? This is something that's coming up soon, right? Yeah, so we have some new benches that are shaped kind of like manatees that will occupy this space. So when you come, you can sit here and just enjoy you watching can the manatees. Sit on while. manatees and watch manatees. That's Snoop Log, the alligator gar. Look at him. Let me get over here and get a. He's coming our way, kids. Look at those teeth on that thing. Wow. Where are you going? I think he's gonna come over here. I think we're gonna get another shot of him. Is he coming around? There he is, coming around the bend. So he's an alligator gar. Yeah. And he's a freshwater? It is. Yep. 
So uh, this is salt water for the manatees, no, right? No, no, this is fresh water. Manatees can go into into Wait. fresh water. They can go into salt water. They can go into brackish. They oh, can okay. do it all. They can do it all. They can do it all. Well, where are those guys right now? So they are in the back in their off display pool. So we're we going to go in there and check them out? We are. So wait, I don't see any manatees in here, Winton. Where are they? I don't know what you're talking about. Please talk to Thane Maynard. Oh, now come on. Wait, wait. This is a behind the scenes tour. Yeah. So what so, are we going to do? Sometimes our manatees will be in their off display pool and they get a lot of their diet back there. And that is so they feel comfortable. They feel safe in that space so that they will willingly enter that space for the physical examinations we need to give them and for the weighings because we like to keep a close eye on these guys to make sure that they are growing as they should to make sure they're healthy and happy so most people don't like to go to the doctor don't like to get poked don't like to get prodded hate to get on a scale uh -huh. so we need these guys to feel really comfortable in that space which is why they get a fair amount of their food or most of their food back there so we're going to a place that when you come see the manatees you're not going to see them just normally coming to the zoo Typically, no. Oh, you can cool. see them on the monitor here. Oh, and that's where we're about to go? It yeah. is. Yeah, they're swimming. Oh, the babies. Look at you guys. Oh, look, they're like pear. Oh. Well, let's go back there and check them out and maybe have a little lettuce. <laughs> yeah, I can make that happen for you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think the manatees just made an appearance here, Winston. Yeah, so they let them out of the off display pool. They're so little, they'll get a lot bigger, won't they? They will. So oh, one of the amazing things one. about manatees is at this, at this stage of their life, they can gain more than a pound a day. Oh my. And they will be eating between 12 and 15% of their body weight every day. Every single day. So for me, that means I'm, I'm like 220 pounds. That means I would have to roughly eat 40 pounds of food a day. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe I don't do math. That's why I work as a zookeeper. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know what you have to ask these manatees? What? Will the real Swim Shady please stand up? Well, that's the alligator gar right there. No, no, no. Snoop Log. Oh, Snoop Log. Swim, Swim Shady, Shady is Wait, there. Swim Shady. Okay, I'm trying to yeah. keep up with all the fun names. Yeah, it's people. a lot of action. It's a lot He's of... He's coming you know, around the long here. value here. Look at him. Do you want to go see more turtles, bud? Aww. <laughs> He's doing a Fiona imitation. Yeah, seriously. Because yeah. manatees can swim, whereas Fiona, as great as she is, cannot swim. Ooh, wait, we're on our way to the uh, manatees, and we make a quick stop here for this guy. Oh my gosh, how long is this guy? Look at this. They can be up to 20 feet or more. Wait, there. let's ask Angela. She knows everything. <laughs> Hi. What kind of snake is this? This is a Burmese python. And how long is he? They can get up to 20 feet in length. My gosh. He looks pretty long. <laughs> I can't even see the end of him. His name's Nagini. Nagini. And you know where that's from? What's that Wait, Chelsea, where is that from? It's from Harry Potter. Of oh. course. Winton, uh, it's the moment of truth. It is. We're going to go back to the uh, private pool exactly. of the manatees and check it out. MVP right. treatment. Oh, look at this restricted entry. Okay, just tell me which way to go. I think I know. We're back here in the zoo where you're not supposed to be unless you're a zookeeper. So up the stairs? Yeah, we're going to go up here. We're going to not this. We're going to. Talk. We can talk, but we don't want to yell or anything like yeah. that because we want them, again, we want them to feel safe okay. and really comfortable in this space. So let's go right. ahead and take a look. Let's be uh, extra quiet. Oh, one of those gar got in here. There. Yeah. Well, he's trying to get back out. All right, so we can go over here. And they can come and go like they're on their own. We got a little bit of a traffic jam here. Yeah. 
How long can the manatees stay underwater without taking a breath? So they can stay underwater for as long as 20 minutes or probably a little bit longer under some cases, uh, in some cases. But normally it's every three to five minutes they come up they and come take, up a breath. take a breath. All right. Yeah. This sure is a big pool. How much water is in this thing? 120,000 gallons. I'm just right here. Look at that. This, the average depth is a little bit shy of maybe 10 feet. Okay. And normally the water can be between about 80 and 82 or 83 degrees. So, so you got to keep it nice warm. nice and warm for manatees. Oh, there's another one right there. What are they eating when they're in the ocean? So eat a lot of what's called different, uh, sea grasses, different kinds of sea grass. Uh -huh. And you know, what's interesting about these animals is when you get floods and things like that in Florida, they'll come up on lawns, they'll eat grass, they'll eat uh, some of the plants that people have planted. So they're generalist herbivores. They eat a lot of green stuff. All right. April here. Hi, April. Hi. Okay, all the kids have a question I'm sure that Ashley's about to ask you. Oh, yeah, we see a ton of lettuce in there. How much lettuce a day do they eat? Uh, right now, they're getting 161 pounds of lettuce every single day. Woo! Woo! So this is like a big salad bar for them, isn't it? <laughs> it is just like a big salad bar. And do they ever, I mean, is it just lettuce, April, or do they mix it up sometimes with some spinach or greens? Uh, or we what? do. We mix it up. They get a variety of different greens. They'll get romaine, endive, kale, spinach, um, we'll do Napa cabbage, iceberg, just depending on um, kind of what they're in the mood for. And we'll also give them a little bit of sweet potatoes, carrots, beets, Oh, potatoes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, do they ever get any ranch? They do not ever get any ranch. No, Never. I don't think we'd want to see what happened to the water after that. <laughs> no, no, not allow that. Thank you, Zookeeper April. You're welcome. All right, so we just saw the manatees, guys. So uh, once these guys have been here at the zoo for a few years, right, they'll be released back in the wild? So these guys will probably be released in early 2023. Okay. Meaning they will leave the Cincinnati Zoo probably in the fall of 2022 to and go back to Florida to start getting ready to be released. To be released into the wild there. Yeah. Now, will you shed a tear, April, over that? It'll be bittersweet when they leave. Aww. Because we'll be happy that they're going to be returned to the wild, but we will miss them here. That will. Th this is going to be your life for the next few years. Yes, it will. These guys. All right. Thanks for showing us today, these guys in there. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Here's another zoo baby for us. Angela. A Johnny Joe? Yes, he's a baby black rhino. Now wait, it sounds like you're saying it's a Johnny Joe, <laughs> but it's one word. Yeah, um, a Johnny is the first name and then Joe. Okay, well then I was right. Yeah. And how old is this guy? Oh, wait, here comes mom. Yeah, his mom is Saya. 
and black rhinos are critically endangered, so each birth is very important to their species. And this is Saya's second baby. She's doing a lot, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Look at that guy, he's pretty. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, you're going to show off adventure. a little bit. Is he posing for us? I mean, he must be. <laughs> He's got a big personality. Usually, he is. He picks up sticks and just carries them around. <laughs> it's his favorite. Aww. And you can see his horn is starting to grow in. And you can go ahead and bust that little nugget of. of the horn is made of hardened hair. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. You're right. Yeah. How'd you know that, you little genius? Because <laughs> I paid attention in school, kids. That's oh. right. Ah. Uh-oh, here comes mama. And baby's gonna follow. Oh, here comes the Johnny Joe. Another zoo baby right here. Oh my gosh, we're going to get up close with this guy today. Come on over. Angela, how old is a Johnny Joe? He's about seven months old. Only seven months. Look at that. He's already that big. Big baby. Look at you. You're not big getting babe. out over there. Aww. I'm gonna try to follow you. Until you... <laughs> and there's Mama right there. <laughs> Angela, thanks for taking us around today. And uh, Winton and maybe you are about to join us for a little Q and A with the kids, right? That's right. Thanks for coming. Get yep. all your questions ready. <laughs> Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, right there. Boop. Thanks, girl. Thank you. Hey, that was a lot of fun. I love that. And uh, man, a Johnny Joe is not camera shy at all. And uh, oh my gosh, we got a lot of, uh, oh, well, you've been answering some of them. Look at, oh my goodness, Winton. Winton, uh, you, could, you were already answering some of the questions there in the, um, in the chat section. So thank you for that. But we should let everybody know, let's see. Uh, Mary from uh, Caroline from uh, Mary Queen of Heaven first grade wants to know how old can manatee manatees live to be? So Winton, if you're, uh, are you muted? Or are you good to go? Oh, no, you're good. The oldest manatee, the oldest age that we know of that a manatee has achieved is I think like 68 or 69 years old. And there are a couple of manatees at a facility in Miami that are in their 60s. So they could probably live well into their 70s. Okay, let's see. Uh, South Elementary is wondering what the rhinos eat and what that ball was that they were using out there. It looked like a giant wiffle ball, actually. Well, rhinos are not as cool as manatees, but I'll answer that question. They get a lot of grain. They also get uh, fruit and vegetables, and they get browse, which is leaves that we cut for them. And that ball is part of their enrichment. We give the animals various objects, other things to try to stimulate some of the natural behaviors like play behaviors exploration curiosity just to give them the best living experience that we can at the Cincinnati Zoo. Sure. Uh, Camden wants to know if any of those big animals like that mother rhino have ever escaped. <laughs> I think they have heard not. About that. They have not. Yeah. Um, and hopefully they won't. Yeah. The fifth graders at College Corner want to know if manatees can sleep underwater. They can. And a part of their brain basically stays awake while their body is asleep and the rest of their brain is asleep. And they will rise, take breaths, and fall right back into the same position they were sleeping in without, with the, or that they were in without waking up. And they do this throughout the night. They do this in the daytime when they nap. It's, it's really cool. Can I ask you this, and I don't know if somebody will, but I, I look at those uh, those manatees and they look like a big seal and you would think 
that, that the sharks would be very interested in them, but they, they you don't really hear about that. And they're pretty, are they fast swimmers when they really need to get going or what's the deal there? They can actually swim pretty quickly over a short distance. I mean, they can swim up to 25, 27 miles an hour, but that's for a very short amount of time. Interestingly enough, manatees really don't have natural predators. Um, most of the sharks that live in the, the waters of, off of Florida and the Caribbean, most of those sharks are actually pretty small. And manatees are born, you know, at 50, 60 pounds. And so within a very short amount of time, they're really too big for any of the sharks that are indigenous to that area. Um, occasionally, there have been documented cases of very large alligators or crocodiles taking preying on uh, baby manatees that got too far from mom, but those cases are few and far between. Um, they, they just basically aren't preyed upon by other animals very often. Okay, uh, uh, South Elementary would like to know how many manatees uh, you have released from the Cincinnati Zoo. I know it's quite a few. So the, the boys we have now are the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd manatees that have lived at the Cincinnati Zoo. 18 of those manatees have been released back to the wild. Uh, uh, the 19th is still at SeaWorld getting some more rehabilitation and he will be released either later this year or early next year. And then one of the animals that lived with us was born in human care and she, she doesn't have the ability to be released because she just, you know, she's been in human care so long. She's been fed by humans and is comfortable around humans. So she, she would not be a candidate to be released. Okay. Um, here's an interesting question that I think a lot of people think when you see uh, a Johnny Joe and his mother there, uh, somebody wants to know why are they called black rhinos when they're kind of gray or, or whitish gray? So, and again, I'll, I'll, this is probably a stretch for me. I may get it wrong, so forgive me. <laughs> um, I, I think the, the terminology in terms of the coloration of rhinos and the description of them being either black or white comes in part from a mispronunciation of the, I think it's the South African word, which is uh, bite or, or bite or wide because the white rhinos have a very broad sort of mouth, snout, uh -huh. um, whereas black rhinos have a much more uh, sort of pointed upper lip and upper snout. Gotcha. Um, but th there's, there's really no difference in that coloration. Okay. I think the names have just stuck because humans like names and they're simple. Well, they, somebody, I, I don't know where this one was, but I saw it earlier. There's so many questions coming in, but they'd like to know what that, they're very interested in that python. <laughs> and uh, they'd like to know what that python eats. And it's not small children, so we won't. Not anymore. Well, the, you know, the zoo really <laughs> frowns upon feeding small children to the animals, so we've, we've stopped that. Um, that python, get, it can get different things up to, you know, it could get, the bigger of the two pythons could get like a small, actually you know, rabbits could get a small pig. Um, they get quail, they get different things too, because that's what they would eat in the wild. They would eat different things so that we mm -hmm. do vary the diet a little bit. Okay. Um, how big were the manatees when they were born? Do you have an idea on that? Uh, about 50, 60 pounds and about 30 inches to three feet long. Okay. Uh, let's get a few more questions in here. There's so many. We're trying to get to all of them. Um, <laughs> are the snapping turtles in the same family as Godzilla? I had to make the Godzilla joke, but, uh, you know, they, they are not. Uh, no. Godzilla's a lizard, uh, if he existed. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, but they are very prehistoric looking. I mean, there's a few things on this earth that still look very prehistoric, and I think snapping turtles are possibly, yeah. those type of, are one of the most prehistoric looking things we have left. Yeah, they just, they look very ancient, very, even when they're young, they look very old. And, and Katie, wants to know, Katie wants to know, uh, Katie's class, Camden wants to know how long that python can get. So the Burmese pythons, the maximum length they can get is I think a little bit over 20 feet long. Okay. And we'll get a couple of more uh, questions here in that I'm trying to find about the manatees because that's your, your field of expertise. How do the manatees swim? I mean, I, they don't really have big flippers. They have more of a, it's that back tail, I guess. Yeah, they, they propel themselves by using the, the tail of the paddle to paddle themselves forward. And manatees are, are solid muscle. They don't they have very low body fat. A lot of times people confuse them with seals or sea lions 
um, because manatees live where it's warm year round, they don't have a need to have a lot of body fat. So everything that, I mean, they're just really muscular. They're really powerful. And we saw this kind of, Jamie wanted to know, and Marissa as well, how do you help adapt manatees to their exhibits? So, the, you know, the manatees, the way we care for them, it's, it's very simple in a way, in a sense that manatees can exist in fresh water, they can exist in salt water, they can exist in sort of that mixture called brackish water. And in order to have them be as successful as possible when they are released, we try not to overcomplicate things and we try not to teach them or have them learn any behaviors that are not going to be, you know, contributing to them being successful in the wild. So we don't hand feed them. We don't interact with them in the way that we interact with a lot of our other animals. Uh, but, you know, we have great relationships with the elephants, with the rhinos, with the great apes. And that those relationships help the keepers provide better care for those animals. We want our manatees to stay wild. So we, we don't have those kind of interactions with them. Manatees are kind of a what you see is what you get animal. They spend a lot of time eating. They spend a lot of time swimming around, interacting, um, and farting and pooping. Yeah. And that's what they do at the Cincinnati Zoo. And you can still hear that sound effect at the zoo of the manatee uh, passing gas there. No, we don't have that anymore, sadly. Oh, you so if you're hearing that sound, that's probably somebody standing next to you. <laughs> well, I love it. Well, Wenton, thank you so much for uh, taking us on that tour of the manatees there. I don't know if Angela ever hopped on here with her. If she is, she can say hi, and she can come on and say hi at the end here. But I don't know if she made it on the call with us here or not. But uh, we always love our Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, you guys have a really big thing coming up tonight, uh, a concert that people can uh, go to the Cincinnati Zoo website and click on. Uh, it's an exclusive concert, and it benefits the Cincinnati Zoo. It's $30, and it's uh, Brad Paisley, Old Dominion, Winona, Riley Green, and uh, Ashley McBride, and a whole bunch more, and it's uh, all for animals tonight. And uh, make sure you, if you do watch that, to go to the Cincinnati Zoo to click on the link so you guys get the money. Yeah, thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for their support of the Cincinnati Zoo and encourage everyone to come out and see our new baby manatee. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Wenton. Thank you, Big Dave. And uh, we'll see you next time out there. And uh, we tell you what, guys, uh, we had a lot of people saying they're first timers here. Our first Zoom with you all. Wonderful. Thank you. We loved it so much. And uh, Becky, well, don't forget, you can watch all of our previous uh, Big Dave Show field trips over on our B105 Cincinnati YouTube page. There's actually a playlist of all of the previous 21 of them. Uh, lots of uh, time for your class to, to watch a field trip a week or a day if you want. Uh, for the next bit. So, uh, Ashley, uh, you have got some news for us here about where we're going next week. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Uh, so this week was a lot of fun, and we have a lot of fun planned for next week. We are going to the Lebanon Mason Monroe Railroad. So Ooh. We're gonna get on a train. It, what's that? Going to get on a train, see how it works. Learn about trains a little bit. And I know, Statman, you are a big fan of the Choo Choo Trains. Yeah, I can't wait to come on ride that train. That's going to be a lot of fun. I think, Chelsea, uh, you and I both had sons who were uh, big fans of Thomas the Tank Engine. And I'm sure, mm -hmm. and I believe I took my son Darren out there when Thomas, they had a, a replica of Thomas the Tank Engine out there. Or it might have been Percy. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I didn't actually take my son Roy, but he was a huge fan. And he still has a little tiny collection left. <laughs> well, fun. So uh, make sure you sign up in your class right now uh, for our uh, Big Dave Show virtual field trip number 23 next week. We've only got a couple more left that we're going to do this year as we're getting towards the end of the school year. Yay, you guys. Uh, April is next week. So um, we want to thank our pals at Grippo's Potato Chips, Skyline Chili, and Hawksworth Blood Center, as always, for helping to sponsor our fun. Uh, you guys are fantastic. I hope you go have a wonderful lunch, and I hope they're doing the uh, rectangular pizza today. So everybody unmute right now. Unmute your computers, and everybody at one, two, three, say bye. 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 We'll see you next week, okay? Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, but...